so cool. What's good, everybody? My name is Alchemy, and welcome to the channel. What you just heard are some examples from the factory library from the Cube. This is the plugin from Lunacy Audio, which uh, this is actually my first sponsored video. So thank you very much to Lunacy Audio. I just wanted to say that even though this video is sponsored, these thoughts are my own. The company at Lunacy Audio said that I can be unbiased. I do have some suggestions that I would like to see or some things that I had talked about over in the review of 2021, but we can talk about that in another video. Integrity is important on my channel. I wanted to tell you all that there is a huge discount going on and there is a brand new pack portal that is available to where uh, you can download new presets and new stuff, uh, new packs or whatever, straight from the plugin to where you don't have to go to their website to download it. So Cube is actually on sale from September 28th all the way until October 25th. So you've got plenty of time to figure out whether or not this synth is for you. As you can see, I'm still downloading some that are going on right now. And I think that's super convenient. So with that being said, if you don't know what the Cube is, the basic synopsis of this is that it's an eight engine sampler to where you can use this little orb right here to alternate between where the sample is playing and it basically controls the volume but you can crossfade and what's really neat is that right now you can see that there's an animation going on which i'll talk about in a second but even if you just change it to this if you move the orb around it'll play the sample and also if we move this uh, by holding shift we can move this over to the back So this is really cool because you can uh, not only do some really cool stuff that we're going to talk about here in just a second, but if you're using something like Bitwig, then you can actually uh, modulate or customize using you know outside modulators the position of the orb and make your own shapes and stuff. However, there's this really neat trick that is built into this, and this is something that I love about this plugin particularly because there's nothing else that's quite like it. And I want to see more plugins in the future embrace the technology and embrace the interactivity that you're looking at right now. So basically you can create or just pick from any of these shapes of how the ball or how the orb moves in between the samples. You're, you're creating a pattern as you can see. If we were to create a new orb or something, we can literally just click on this and then go to new step, drag it to a new place, new step. Maybe I want this to come out here this way. Then we go to new step and we'll drag it out front. It's a very basic shape, but we can just go uh, basic and save this. And now you can see that it's traveling across. I don't know of any other plugin that's like this. I do know that Palindrome um, is a granular synth, which I know that you can kind of crossfade in between. And if you're wondering, this does not have a granular engine. Um, it doesn't make sense for like eight crazy granular engines to be all moving at once. In a future update, it would be cool if there was like one or two, but uh, we'll talk about that later. So in itself, um, you've got some main effects, and this is the big draw to what's going on. Again, if you want to know all of the in-depth stuff about how everything works and whatnot, I suggest that you go take a look at the 2021 plugin review because, for one, it has my initial impressions, and two, it will give you some insight about how everything works and answer probably a lot of questions if you're wondering about how you know, can I do this? Yes, you can import your own samples and so forth. Now, the big thing that I wanted to talk about today on top of the discount and the pack portal is a brand new um, pack called Canopies by Ben Jordan. And if you didn't know, uh, Venus Theory also has a pack. There's also some presets here from our friend Data Broth, and that's pretty cool. So with this, um, let's go ahead and demo some of these. And I'm just going to, you know, give some candid thoughts and play on my embodiment array and see if we can come up with something that's cool. 
And I will say that if you are into ambient sounds or you're into drones or stuff, that you should really consider this synth. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a listen to some of these and see what all they have to offer. And we can even maybe tweak some if we want to. Now, one cool thing about this is that every single patch has this ether knob, which will give it a little bit, I think it crushes the dynamics and adds it like a very subtle OTT, but this will make everything a little bit brighter. And then we also have a master filter here that we can back off of. In case we want to do the opposite. I wish I had three hands. We're going to hold this cord and open up the filter. Now, one other thing that's really cool about OS, just before we go on into some of the other things, is that there's a bunch of randomization options that you have, including the sounds, uh, the orbit, as well as the effects. So I'm going to keep the effects where they are because I like the reverb that we have on this. But if we go into the sound source here, you can see that it's only one sound. But if I click on this, we can easily change this into a completely different sound. The reason why I wanted to mention this in particular is that it's really cool because you don't have to go very far in order to get more mileage out of the presets, which to be honest, like if you're using a preset that has a bunch of sound engines in the first place, so maybe we can just find one that has maybe a few more here. As you can see, this one has eight engines going, then we can either randomize the sounds individually or we can do what we did here and randomize them all. Let's go ahead and take a quick listen to how this sounds and then we'll see if we want to do that in the first place. nice. And again, if we wanted to get a more mileage out of this, we can just click on this and that way it changes the entire patch or most of everything in the patch stays the same except for the uh, the samples. So now let's take a listen to this. Same chord. Now, the sample selection, not just within canopies, but within the cube as a whole, has so many organic sounds within them. And I really enjoy it because there are so many high quality samples within this that even if you were to just take this and just use it as a single sampler, uh, there's so many sounds that you could easily, you know, get it into mangling on the outside and take even further. So let's go ahead and check out some of these other presets. I'm also going to change the key so that way we don't uh, get stuck listening to the same thing every time. Let's see what this sounds like. Pretty sick. Let's go ahead and uh, try some other stuff. And for me, obviously, I'm thinking about what I can do on the outside of the box. And, you know, I'm trying to refrain from using outside plugins to just showcase this. But, you know, if you were to throw something like Big Sky on here or you were to use uh, any other kind of reverb or even Snap Heap or Multipass and just start mangling this, it's like really, really cool for resampling and stuff.
That's what happens when we use a gypsy scale. Sounds pretty cool. Let's see what tape sequence is about. Let's go ahead and switch this from maybe this to Mixolydian, Romanian, maybe Gypsy Minor. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I definitely don't want to like give away all the presets, but I definitely think that, um, you know, really just with anything, even just the factory presets alone is going to take you pretty far. Um, I, there's a lot more to get into here, especially when you're turning the macro, everything is morphing and whatnot, but uh, really that's up to you to kind of just get in there and start exploring. Now, if I were to start a patch from scratch, let's say I just wanted to go into the initialize here and we have absolutely nothing. We're greeted with a, night, a sound that's not too bad. So let me switch this over real quick. Let's go gypsy again. <laughs> Sorry, that's fun. So what we can do is we can randomize the sounds. And if this comes off as quiet, one thing that you should note is that there's a limiter that's turned down by like minus 10. So we can turn the post game up just to try to uh, rectify that just a bit. And let's go ahead and bump that up just a little bit more. And now what we can do is we can randomize the orbit. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. So cool. And now we can also randomize the effects. It's coming. In a world full of tacos. Pretty cool. And again, if we want to change this up, then we can do that. I'm going to turn the distortion off and maybe randomize the sounds again. And let's see what that sounds like. So cool. So really, once you have something like that, then we can, again, continue to just fish until we get something that we like. We can go in and make our own animations and stuff. But again, like what I love most about this is something that I've already mentioned, but I really want to see more plugins in the future embrace the level of interactivity that the cube has. I, even though I will say as well, like even though they did sponsor this video, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't actually like this plugin. And uh, for me, even though it's not perfect, there's some things that I would like to see in the future. I really believe that this is very forward thinking. And obviously Casey has done an amazing job with being like, you know, imagine if we could create something that's like super easy to make something either cinematic or evolve over time and add more life to, you know, just playing a regular subtractive synthesizer, you know, and the fact that you can um, you know, import your own samples and stuff. And then, you know, I would make sure that you tune everything to like C or whatever. There's also some really cool things that I haven't gone into such as like the arpeggiator and whatnot. Again, you can see that in the 2021 video, there's a lot to unpack, even if it's not, you know, necessarily like the next phase plan or whatever, this is very good at what it does. And it's something that every time I open it, I am leaving with a smile on my face because it's just, it's just pretty. It's a, it's a pretty synth to listen to. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is this something that is uh, worth it to you? Is this something that you think that you could find within your, you know, I guess, workflow or project space? Whenever I'm looking for something that's just either cinematic or I'm looking for something that's organic. Um, I've made a lot of IDM with this in the past. 
then this is like kind of like my go-to, especially when I'm feeling uninspired. That alone, even for the sample quality themselves, like this really makes me feel like I have a lot to learn with sound design as a whole and um, Lunacy Audio really knocked it out of the park. So thank you again to Lunacy Audio for sponsoring this video. I will say that these thoughts are my own. I would still love to see a couple of additions uh, happen in future iterations, but with where it's at right now, there is a ton of stuff to just give you some really interesting inspiration that's you know, not just another subtractive synth where you turn some analog knobs or something. So let me know what you all think about uh, the cube in the comment section and be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Thanks again to Lunacy Audio. If this seems like a synthesizer that might be for you, then be sure to check out lunacy.audio. The cube is on sale right now along with most of the packs. Canopies is brand new from Ben Jordan. Ben Jordan is a fellow YouTuber. We actually met at NAMM, it was very brief. Um, there's some stuff from Cameron and again, some stuff from Data Broth and there's just a lot to get into with this or just start building your own stuff with, you know, this crazy multi-engine sampler. I think that you're going to be in for a good time if you choose to pick this up. Anyways, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.